Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today, as a follow-up to last time, I will show you how to use triggers in Dublin 2 with the help of Rio Hotkey in an accessible way. Let's not talk too much and get right into the hot stuff. Right, so let me show you what I set up in Reaper. All I did was configure Doubler in a way that the MIDI input device is configured. I set up a virtual instrument on new track. I set up Studio Drummer by Native Instruments. And this is what it does if you open up the MIDI keyboard with Alt B. Virtual MIDI keyboard dialog, virtual keyboard keys grouping. Great, and you play a bit. Right, so it's loaded, it works, and does what you'd expect it to do. Now, let's get rid of Reaper here, leave it open, and just switch over to Doubler. Rehotkey automatically detected Doubler and told us that we are currently on the profile melody, which we will now open by pressing Enter. Context menu. Use the down arrow load profile L. and load it up. Loading. Please wait. Reverse changes button. And now what we want to do is use the triggers tab, which is the fourth tab. So we can press Control four to quickly get there. Profile settings tab, control triggers tab, selected CTRL plus four. And uh, we tap through. Triggers enabled checkbox checked. Acoustic snare, zero takes, trigger one of five button. Bass drum one, zero takes, trigger two of five button. I will quickly show you how it basically works with three triggers. Kick or bass drum, snare, and a hi-hat. And I will have to train them first because my profile is empty. I haven't trained any takes for my triggers yet. So I will start with the kick drum and I will hit enter on this. Context menu. And as you could already hear, as soon as you hit enter on it, we just play one single note and we already noticed that it triggered the correct one. So that is the kick drum, that's fine. And we will now train it by pressing the down arrow. Start recording takes, yes. We will start recording takes and I will do that and afterwards I will have to make the sound that I want to trigger the kick drum. So I won't be able to speak anymore because otherwise that will basically learn the sound of me speaking to the kick drum, which is not what I want. So I will try to make some weird beatboxing noises as soon as I start recording takes. You can record up to 12 takes. It might actually get a bit weird here because my background is actually pretty noisy right now, so it might pick up one some of the server noises from my background. So keep in mind that the end result would maybe be a bit off here. But uh, yeah, let's do it. I will press enter. Afterwards, I will be in a dialogue where I can just hit stop recording. So as soon as I'm finished with recording my 12 takes, I will just hit enter to close down the dialogue and I will be back talking to you. Loading one takes. Two takes, three takes, four takes, five takes, six takes, seven takes, eight takes, nine takes, ten takes, eleven takes, twelve takes. Loading, please wait. Replace drum one, zero takes, trigger two or five button. Okay, just ignore that. We don't just have zero takes, it's just not updated yet. But here's the great thing. If we now switch over to a different tab, control one. Profiles. So we do have the sound. We do have the kick drum. Now let's continue with the snare. Triggers enable acoustic snare zero takes trigger one of five button. The snare would be a sound, so we would do that. Context menu. That's the right sound. Start recording takes s. Loading. Stop recording one take two takes three four take five six take, seven take, eight takes nine take ten take eleven take twelve takes. Loading. Please wait. Acoustic snare zero takes trigger one of five button. And finally the hi hat, right? Base drum closed I had zero take context menu start recording loading so one take two take three take four take five six take seven take eight, nine ten take eleven take twelve take loading please wait reclosed I had zero takes all right and all that we need to do now is switch to a different tab profile and uh, basically you can already hear it. I have to whisper a bit I will just switch over to Reaper and record a tiny bit let's see what comes of it. Great, or something. Let me just turn this off 
Vuclia Tubla 2.2 Window Vuclia. Unload, reverse check, unload, loading. Please wait, melody. Now that we've unsafe, un turned off Dumbler, let's see what come of it. So that is the final result. What did we get from it? Like, obviously, my timing is really, really bad. Um, I haven't trained much with this. I'm better on the piano or on an actual instrument, but beatboxing is not my thing, um, as it seems. But what do we get of it? We do have some some mistakes here, right? Some detection mistakes, which might have been caused by my server sitting next to me and doing stuff, um, or the loud noise in my background, which most of it you won't be able to hear because of my uh, effects processing chain. But Doubler will be able to hear it because there are no effects in front of Doubler. And apart from that, the result is actually pretty neat, isn't it? So yeah, that's basically all you need to do. You need to train it to the noise that you want to make to trigger it. You can literally use whatever noise you want. You don't need to beatbox. You can use, I don't know, pens, pencils, um, whatever noise you can think of. Um, and that's basically it. You train it, you tell it which note you want it to trigger. So in the context menu of every trigger, you've basically got a MIDI note input box where you can input the note that you want to trigger. If your drum kit by default is mapped in a different way than the one that Double actually expects, feel free to change it to the note that you want to trigger there. And you can have up to 10 different triggers. I just had five, but you can have up to 10 different triggers for different drum sounds or whatever kind of sounds you actually want. So. That is how the triggers work. Uh, that was useful. Obviously, you can play around a little bit more with things like sensitivity. So if you are, or your microphone is really, really sensitive, you can turn down the sensitivity within Doubler to maybe improve your results. You can change the velocity sensitivity. So in my case, you've heard that there were quite a few quiet notes and a few loud noises, depending on the environment situation, I guess, but you can change this as well. Doubler is really, really flexible with this, and I can just recommend you to give it a go and play around with it yourself. That is it. Thanks for watching. That has been the second part in this series about Doubler. I think the next one will be actually trying to create a piece by just using Doubler to play melody, bassline, drums, or that kind of thing, just a tiny little piece. Uh, let's see how it goes, but this is about the triggers let me know if you want to have some other questions answered that you just thought of right now let me know in the comment section below the video also if you haven't checked out my other doubler video the first one where i basically reviewed the entire doubler interface then check out the video description or all of the other videos that you can find on my channel there are over a hundred of them thanks for watching and until next time bye bye